The narcissist wants your money. Narcissists are very superficial. They're more concerned with material things rather than getting to know you. They don't care about your heart and soul. They don't care about your personality. They're more focused on what's in your bank account. Narcissists are grandiose. They want to display an image of wealth and superiority. They want to feel like they're better than most people. And of course, they cannot do that without money. But many of them also have difficulty keeping a job or running a business. Because they're high conflict personalities. They have a problem with everyone they engage with. So if they cannot produce the wealth that they desire, their only option is to find someone who has money. Someone who they can leech off. So that they can live this fantasy. And validate the illusion that they have going on in their minds. Of how they are superior to other people. And of how they are more deserving of privileges and special treatment. The money becomes an emotional crutch. They depend on it in an unhealthy way. They attach to it because they feel like it makes them safe. It gives them permission to be arrogant and audacious and they like how that makes them feel. Once you take a narcissist from their regular lives and bring them into a world of finer things, they're not going to want to let that go so easily. They will create an orchestration where they plan and coordinate the elements of the situation to gain control of your money. Because your money is very important to them. It supports the illusion. They want people to see them as wealthy and powerful. But they cannot do that without money. And they're also unable to produce that which they strongly desire. So naturally they will resort to lying and stealing. And doing whatever it takes to hold on to the money. They're beggars. They live by asking for money or food. They're parasites and you are their host. They benefit by deriving nutrients at your expense. Because they want to have that authority, power and status. They want to feel superior. They want to feel like they're in control. They can't do much without money. They want to be the master. They want to be the supreme ruler. To do that, money is essential. So they are going to try to gain control of your money at all costs. Because they're very materialistic. They desire a lot of material possessions. They're high maintenance. They have expensive taste. And if they can gain control of your money, they can control what you do. But they portray it as though they are helping or supporting you with something. Or as though you have caused an inconvenience for them. So now you have to compensate for their deficiencies. But as we know, narcissists tend to exaggerate the things they do for their victims. 
a relationship with a narcissist tends to be characterized by a great deal of loss in every aspect of the victim's life. Naturally, you're not going to want to arm and equip someone with the very tools that they need to destroy you. You're going to hold back. You're going to try to protect yourself financially and in other aspects of your life. And that's where the control comes in. That's where the narcissist has to try to claim ownership of things that are rightfully yours. They have this strong sense of entitlement, as though they have a right to take whatever they want. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They don't care about how their behavior affects you. They have these sociopathic tendencies to extract financial gains at all costs, to chase money and power. It makes them feel like they're winning. It makes them feel like they're in control. Money is a part of their identity and they identify other people with money. They see it as though if you don't have money, you're a loser or something is wrong with you. They see it as though money determines a person's character and upbringing, which is why they want to be the masters of money. They will push you into the enabler role where you are just giving all of your money to them, where you are enabling this dysfunctional situation to continue. while they portray you as this person who is not good with money, this person who spends everything. Even though you may be the one who earned it in the first place, they could spend a hundred thousand pounds of your money while you spend only 10,000 pounds and they will still hold you responsible for it. They will say that you spent all of the money while they got to indulge in everything they wanted to do. While you had to use the money for basic necessities. They're not going to take responsibility for anything that happens to you financially, even though they may be the cause of it. They feel entitled to be with people who have money but they don't want to take on the responsibility that comes along with being in that position. Narcissists don't usually make much money. They're not productive. They're more focused on controlling the family. So they don't have time to be productive. They don't have time to make money. Most of their time revolves around spending it. Yet they want to be seen as people who are good with money. They want to be seen as people who are in control of everything. People who are responsible. but they need you to be seen as the opposite of all of that. They need you to be seen as someone who spends all of the money, even though you may have earned it, even though they may have spent more than you. They will use money to threaten you. They will use money to control you. And they will use it to shame you to make you feel like you are the one who misuses it. They will always find a way to turn it around in you, to relieve themselves of any responsibility for their choices and decisions. Money is the end all be all to the narcissist. 
it is very important to them. They take it very seriously. Even though it may not belong to them, you have to understand that narcissists are scavengers. If they see something and they put themselves in position to get it, in their minds it's already theirs. If you don't willingly hand it over to them, it will cause a narcissistic injury and they will find other means to get it. They will make it their mission to punish you and take you down for denying them of what they believe is rightfully theirs. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.